you're out there in Atlanta, and you're like, dude, Jay Wise, it is so hard to hit my cash flow goals these days, man. Help me! Does that sound like you? Maybe it does. Maybe you're a little bit more calm, right? Maybe you're like a little Marty Bird. You're, you know, you know. Very calm about things, right? That was a little Wendy action. Anyway, that's a little that's an Ozark reference for all my Ozark fans out there. I just finished season four the other day. Damn, that was good, man. Ruth's gonna go. They're leaving us on that cliffhanger. Ruth's driving. She's gonna shoot that motherfucker. Anyway, that's not what this show's about. The show ain't about Netflix. This show is about real estate and my investors down there in Atlanta who are having trouble finding the cash flow they need. They come to people like me to help them out, and that's what I'm gonna do. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you invest, right? More specifically, I am here for my man, Kirk. Kirk, you're an investor in Atlanta, Georgia. You manage a CVS by day, and you're going to be moonlighting as a real estate investor by night, right? Makes sense. Cool. Love it. But here's the thing. Even though being a manager of a CVS does pay a pretty decent wage, right, uh, you're not a multimillionaire, okay? You're not super rich, and that's okay. You're not supposed to be. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I like working with rich people, too. So, like, if you got $10 million, and you're like, hey, man, I got $10 million. Let me invest in your company. That's cool, man. Click the show notes below. We'll take your money, too. I said that. See, that sounded rough. We'll take your money, too. It sounded kind of scammy. I shouldn't have said it that way. What I meant was, we will help you achieve your investment dreams. <laughs> it just sounds so shady when you say it that way. But, no, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, look, if you're super wealthy, it's not like we're like, no, fuck rich people. We're not going to work with them. No, we will work with you too. Like we do big deals. We do small deals. But you don't have to be just rich, right? We will work with regular everyday Joes, right? And that's honestly what we specialize in. We, we probably work with more everyday Joes, more people like Kirk, uh, the the manager of a CVS, than like multimillionaires, right? Uh, this is what this is about. It's about helping the everyday person make money in real estate, right? But here's your issue, Kirk. And, and this is not just related to just you specifically or because you're in Atlanta. Uh, it's a 2022 thing, really, right? Real estate goes up, it goes down. It goes up, it goes down, right? 2022, we're dealing with a lot of high housing prices, and we're dealing with a shortage of housing inventory, right? And Atlanta <clears throat> is a market that is historically more expensive than other markets. It's not the most expensive market in the United States of America by any means, but it's also not the cheapest, right? So you, Kirk, you're a smart guy. You're like, hey, man. I got a limited supply of money here. I want my money to go as far as it possibly can. Is Atlanta uh, the most expensive market? Definitely not. It's definitely not. But can you get your money to go further in other markets in the USA than it can in Atlanta? Yes. Is there an incredible shortage of housing in Atlanta? Yes. Is it very hard for brand new investors like you, Kirk, to become real estate investors and make money as a landlord in Atlanta due to the market in 2022? All yes. So that's why you hook up with me. I help people find the best markets, and then my team manages the properties on the ground for them. And today, what I have for you, Kirk, a duplex in a very nice neighborhood with great long-term prospects, and all you got to do is spend $27,000. Very difficult to put a deal like that together in Atlanta. That's why you're here. Let's jump into the details after this. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up the numbers, right? This is what we do, folks. Provide you the turnkey service in an aligned way, right? This deal, 411 9th Street, Elyria, 44035. Just hit the market four days ago, and it's priced at 93 and a half. But I don't want you to pay 93 and a half. That's why we're different, right? I work for you. If I'm a traditional turnkey provider... The price is 93.5. Why would I be like, hey, bro, how about you just pay 90? Why would I say that? Why would I just give you 3,500? I wouldn't, right? I'm trying to get every dollar out of the deal I can. Not that that makes me a bad person. It doesn't. That's just life, right? If you're selling something and somebody's willing to pay you 10, you're not going to be like, no, nah, bro, give me seven. It doesn't make sense. You're not giving away money, right? This is business, okay? That's why what we do is different, though. 
The seller, they're going to try to get all their money. Me, I'm going to try to get you as much money as possible because I work for you. And then I'll couple that with the turnkey services on the ground. Because obviously you don't live in Elyria, Ohio, just outside of Cleveland, Ohio, right? But it's one of the best cash flow markets. That's why out-of-state investors are going here. So you need representation on the ground, me, and you're going to get that. But you don't have to get it by paying a turnkey premium. This one, I don't want you paying 93 and a half. I believe I can work that seller down a little bit. I think I can pick it up for you at 88. And then we're going to put 5K into it, making our all-in investment 93. Because that's the thing. It's not pure turnkey, folks. You're just buying from regular people. So what we have here is a property that's vacant. Now, you see a little bit of stuff left in the property, all right? You see a little bit of stuff left over from the previous, I think it was like owner lived in one unit, tenant lived in the other. So it's not 100% turnkey. So I wrote in there about 5K. It looks nice, right? It looks decent. But if you look closer, right, like these pictures, they look fine. But if you look closer right here, you're missing an outlet cover. You got a bunch of big dings in the paint there, right? So when you actually go inside of this and tour it and your tenants are touring it, it's not rent ready, right? There's things that need to happen, okay? Like right here, look, you can barely see it, but there's a hole in the wall here, right? So I don't even know if 5K, it could go up to 10K maybe. We actually would have to get our team in there to do uh, a renovation, full-on renovation bid. It's not a lot, but I'm just saying we need to look at it a little closer, right? It's probably just going to be cleaning and painting maybe replacing a little bit of carpet. So it's nothing major. It's just super cosmetic minor stuff. But that's the difference when you're going turnkey versus off the open market, right? They're not perfectly show ready, but these are damn close, right? So that's why I give you guys uh, <clears throat> the upfront info. And what I love to see, though, things that actually really matter, a little bit of paint here and there, that don't mean nothing, folks. But this, this is your big ticket stuff, all right? Now, those furnaces, they cost about 3500 bucks a pop right now, right? That's about seven grand worth of furnaces. You got to spend that every 30 years. Well, those suckers, those are brand friggin' new. Now, it could be six months old, could be a year old, could be two years old, but they're pretty darn new, I could tell. Now, hot water tanks, they're about 1200 right now. They last about 15 years. Also look to be pretty darn new. That's your big ticket items. When you hear people say the house has good bones, that's what they mean, folks. Then you got a big old garage outside. Tenants are going to love that. All right? So, 93 and a half. Again, I work for you, so I'm going to try to work that down. I believe what's competitive, what we can take it down for, 88. You put in 5, 93. Then we're going to go ahead and rent the units for 675 and 750, bringing in 14 and a quarter. That's 17,100 for the year, but that's not all profit, folks. This is real estate. There are costs. There's costs to have my property run this. There's costs with taxes, insurance. There's costs with uh, replacing things. The furnaces and the hot water tanks I told you about, look at this right here. Capital expenditures, 855. You're going to keep that money, but I do not have it listed on this chart as your profit, okay? That money goes in your pocket, but one day, that's why this is such a good deal. It's probably going to be like 25 years from now. I'll be like, yo, bro, I need $3,500 from you, right? That's what you're saving that eight fifty five for. I'm not having you think that that is profit because one day that furnace is going to go. And then the other furnace is going to, you know what I'm saying? That's why the fact that these are new is really good. But you got to understand, eventually you'll pay for these things. So your average, your true average NOI should be around uh, 8700 Now, with the all-in investment in 93 k which is our down payment, 22 and a half, and 5 k upfront repairs, means we only have $27,000 into the deal, right? $88,000, your down payment on your... Uh, Mortgage, you're, you're going to buy it at 88, right? Your down payment's going to be 22. The bank's going to loan you 66, plus you got to kick in another five, right? That means you're all in 27 grand. You're looking at around a 20% cash on cash return. $27,000. And as far as the neighborhood goes, we're in the Cleveland market, one of the best housing markets for cash flow investors, number one. Number two, I love the city of Lorraine. It is a very solid, stable neighborhood. Uh, I'm sorry, I love the city of uh, the city of Elyria, which is in Lorain County. Very solid neighborhood in Lorain County. And I think the reason I had Lorain County on my brain is because here at Holton Wise, we are going heavy into Lorain County, right? People talk about cash flow markets versus appreciation markets, okay? People talk about that. But guess what, folks? Guess what? Sometimes you can have your cake and eat it too. Lorain County is getting too brand new uh like naval shipyard things uh it's going to be a very big project and it's projected to bring about four thousand jobs to the area 
That is big. Am I telling you that's going to double the price of your property in five years? No, I'm not saying that. But what I am telling you is people that talk about appreciation, they're usually just speculating. I don't like to just blindly speculate, but I'm a smart guy. I could look at something and go, okay, we got this city and this little area right here. And they're about to get a huge investment and 4,000 new jobs coming to the area. Yeah, things are going to go better in that area. Prices will eventually go up, right? So it's got great cash flow. It's got good prospects. I really dig Lorain County and the city of Illyria. Solid C-class neighborhood. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.